Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Alien Tech Champion. If you have not liked and subscribed, please go to the Google or YouTube and, and open this Alien Tech YouTube channel. Here you will get the uh, anything related to the Microsoft Intune mobile and anything related to the computer Windows operating system. So please get it subscribed so it's free of course and you will get the latest video and everything. In this video uh, today i am going to show you how actually you can sync right your computer clock with intune if your devices are managing through intune because the no uh, no daylight saving will gonna be start so you need to sync your computer clock windows clock through the intune right or or with the with the current time zone right so uh, this is actually normally it's, it's controlled by the Active Directory domain environment and it's always been easy to create a group policy object to synchronize all your computer windows of computers clock to uh, uh, your authoritative uh, uh, NTP server, right? So uh, Active Directory actually has always actually good with uh, will be good good with good with the things like that right as long as the computer connected to a domain controller every right is all the time right unfortunately in the today's world of the remote actually workplace more and more uh, company and organizations are skipping active directory domain for either a hybrid azure active directory or a stricter or a stricter uh, azure uh, uh, azure ready so uh, it is uh, it is un it's not uncommon for the devices to check in right in a domain controller very often right so so there is no gpu if your machine is actually not uh, connecting to uh, to a domain controller internal so so gpu will not get applied and 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 it's uh, will be um, and this is actually uh, and this is the when actually uh, issue starts right so if the, your machine is not connecting to the domain controller right your internal domain controller the synchronization their clock with the with with the ntp server will not sync right with the gpo will not apply so the only thing we can do is to set the correct time zone right which will actually does not affect the connectivity functionality so here being as intune admin since you are administrator of microsoft intune and managing all the windows 10 devices we can do that microsoft is has very good providing these options uh, uh, so how we can do that we can first go you can go to the microsoft endpoint dot uh, intune portal right and where you have to uh, what we have to do you have to create the new policy so you have to go to the devices configurations below says profiles since i am here so create new profiles select windows 10 and later and here you have to select the templates okay and under the templates there are many templates here right you see here you have to go to the administrative tablet and then click create you have to give it the name like ntp time sync okay ntp time sync for windows machine give it the name proper name for windows 10 devices okay click next and then here what you have to do you have to select the sy system right and then windows time services so where do you have to go right you see there is all setting computer configurations and and then user configurations so what you have to do you have to just simply select search by time okay time provider okay uh, okay click on all settings time provider you see here right configure windows ntp clients so this one you have to click it so make sure under the configuration setting you have to click all setting select the time provider and then configure windows ntp client and just scroll it 
and you have to select enable and you have to give it the name so what is the name of ntp server so we have to give the time dot microsoft dot com yes time dot microsoft dot com is it correct let me just uh, recheck quickly yeah time dot windows dot com right usually here so by default it's actually this is come so you you can click on most of the organization is pointing to this one but but it, it, you should change if you are sure that you need to write you can make sure you change it right and then cross level setting these all require okay everything you don't change you don't need to change but if you require you can change it whatever click on okay that's it and then you see it's enable click on next next you want to assign to all the devices or groups whatever you want this two and that's it next we'll see it's configuring policy has been created successfully so once you go just verify it click on properties and you see here the configuration setting windows ntp client is enabled right and so what you have to do here you have to go to the all settings and you have to select time provider right or windows time services okay window time services so it's a global configuration setting so we have enabled this one configure windows time client you can also click on this one and you see here enable right there are many settings and all these informations are there so what we have to do we have to just enable this one so i'm just verifying this right here this policy setting specifies set of parameters so controlling the window ntp line if you enable these policies and you can specify that this if you disable do not configure so ntp server you have to give it name the type string and a value everything you can configure it type ntds5 so by default let it be default everything and just apply this policy uh, so that your 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 all windows 10 machine will get sync with the public ntp server and you will not face the any time or local time issue with your windows machine hope you have learned how you can um, how you can create the uh, ntp uh, time sync with the public ntp server and this is actually very useful when you uh, when when daylight saving starts right so start that that's all you enjoy keep learning thank you have a good day bye bye